Hello, my name is Cody McVeigh. I'm a deaf elder and ministry leader. Before I start, let's pray. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you for all that you let us, all the people who are watching, that would take into our hearts and our minds everything that you do for us every day. For all of us, we pray for your wisdom that you'll teach us in this devotion and encourage us. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to think long and hard about two questions that I want to ask you. What is God's greatest gift? And the second one is, why did he give it to us? The answer to the first question, Jesus Christ himself. Gave, God gave us his only son, and he let him die on the cross for us. I'm sure you and all of us, we look at that. We can't imagine how painful it was for God, the Father, to see his own son being betrayed, spit on, whipped, stabbed, nailed on the cross. And the second question's answer is because he loves us. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 32, he did not spare his own son, but gave up all for us. How will he not also with him graciously give us all things? God gave us all the greatest gift of all because he loves us. He wants us to have a great relationship with him through Jesus Christ. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's what Jesus said. God doesn't want us to live in condemnation, so he gave us the hope of salvation when we believe in Jesus Christ, his Son. Jesus Christ could ask a legion of angels to come, rescue him from the cross and from death, but instead, Father, forgive them. That's what he said. In Luke chapter 23, verse 34, then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Jesus Christ asked him to forgive us because he wants us to have a relationship with God. And he wants his Father to have a relationship with us also. Oh, he's a wonderful son, he has. And having that wonderful relationship with someone who loves is the best thing to have. Oh, it makes us feel we're not alone. Being alone, feeling lonely, that's not good. Could even be unhealthy. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, he said, And then the Lord God said, It's not good for Adam to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Even many godly people, including me, we're not alone, even though we're single. We have God with us. We have family, friends who love and support us. If you are feeling alone or experience the pain of loneliness, I encourage you to seek God for company for that relationship. Read in the book of Psalms to see God is always here for you. 
You have wonderful people from our church to talk to and have wonderful fellowship. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 3, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you may also have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for allowing us to have that relationship, the gift that you've given as your Son, and we can live with you forever. Well, the pain will be gone through your actions. And we can have that relationship closeness with you. And as all the people out here can be connected and have fellowship with one another also and support one another and love one another, you want for us as a whole group to, to have love. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. Bye.